Right everyone, Weft Collector here. Right, before I do a bit of an update video. Before I start in the garden first, I will in a minute go and show you the plants. Some of them are doing well, but some of them aren't doing quite as well as I thought they would be. Looking at other people's plants, these seem to be a bit behind. It's hard, I'll explain that when I go over to them. I'll also show you some stuff in the shed. I'll show you my bike as well in a minute, with the bike's done. So, general update. I've been quite busy lately. You know I just got back from the, well, I'm a couple of weeks back from the road trip I took with Metallic Reality. There's still plenty of videos to come for that. There should be another, I'll put two on, there should be probably another three, so there'll be five altogether. Um, yeah, pl plenty of sort of standard videos coming, now I'm starting to get more time. Today I'm going to film a arrow test video because I bought some cheap or let's say inexpensive bolts from eBay. So I'll do a little video on those to show you the quality of those so people can buy them if they want. Um, I'll be doing a video on the the new machete band bullshit that's come out. Um, oh and also the Spyroverse film is done. The Spyro Files feature length episode. I finished it today. Me and Metallic filmed that over a year ago. And that has been a hell of a lot of work. Really, really hard work. Some of it very frustrating. But also very fun. And I think we've come up with a really good feature length episode. It'll be episode four though. So I still need to now epi uh, edit episode three. But episode three was filmed in a different way that I could do quicker. The thing with episode 4 was, the way we filmed it, there was no real coherent story to it. So we just filmed a load of stuff so that we could make a episode out of it. Rather than having scenes, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what it took so long. And then none of it had, no, I don't think any of it had dialogue really. So, well, it had a little bit of dialogue, so nearly the whole entire thing had to be dubbed over. Stuff like that. Whereas episode 3, which I'll be editing soon... That is all just a fully done scene, a fully done scene, a fully done scene. Um, you know, all sort of scripted out and yeah. So it's that one's a lot. That'll be a lot quicker. So that is done. So that I think what I'm planning to do. I'm not 100 sure yet. Is I think I'm going to do at the end of September. We'll do a Spy River special and we'll have episode three playing for that. And then Halloween is when you'll see episode four. But I'm not sure at this point if I'm going to have it Halloween night or Halloween weekend. Because the problem is Halloween night is a Tuesday, but there is a weekend close to it. So I'll decide. Um, maybe I'll ask people soon what they reckon will be best. So yeah, that's the general update. Um, plenty of videos come in. It's just getting the time to do it, basically. Now I'm going to move over there and show you the plants. Right, so I'll show you the plants now. The ones up here, when I got back from my road trip, some of them had fallen down and one of them was covered in fucking black flies. And so I'm giving up with the little ones for now, there's no point. Tomatoes. There's a squash down there, but it's not doing very well. A lot of these was just extras. The potatoes, I'm going to turn those out. Possibly on this video. I may just do a, a dedicated video on its own, just doing the potatoes. The citrus tree is doing all right, but it's covered in the potato plants at the minute. Still got some of the smaller ones up here, but yeah, I think when I was away, they didn't really get watered properly, so they're struggling a bit. But you know, spring onion's still there, and a lot of the herbs have died though, sadly. There's the bamboo that I brought home that started to grow. Tomato plants in there. Tomato plant. There's carrots in there, but there's a bloody couple of tomato plants growing in that now. The peas have been and gone. I did have those and I did eat them. There's a couple of plants where they've died there. That one died. Um, tomatoes and squashes though, they are doing good. The only weird thing is though, right, so they're high. They're up to, you know, probably six foot, six and a half foot, no, maybe seven foot. They're off the ground though, but 
but they're quite high up. But they haven't had a lot of flowers, and well, that one's got some tomatoes, but that's it. And like, this one's got those there, and that's it. Or maybe a few more up there. Me, I don't know. And the squash, they are starting to grow at least. Um, but yeah, there's been quite a few of them where they've just come and just died. I don't know. Oh look, there is a nice little one down there though. Oh nice, that was worth looking, I didn't see that one. <laughs> there you go. Alright. So yeah, that's the plants. In a minute I'm going to turn out these potatoes. But I might do those on a separate video because it's going to be quite long otherwise. And it's going to be a sort of response to Jack Stryker, whose new name on YouTube is Trans Spewman. Right, so I may do a little bit of a response to Jack on that. I'm going to show you my bike now. Right, there's the bike. Took a bit of doing. Turned out the back wheel was buckled. Um, and the tyre in the front wheel is completely fucked, basically. So, I asked Malk, who he had a spare bike going, because he got given a new bike. I could have probably just had his old bike. But I thought, I'd rather have my own, then it's mine. I don't have to, you know... And also, this hasn't cost me nothing, so if anything goes wrong with it, I wouldn't be that bothered, or if, you know. So, changed the wheel for Mount's old back wheel. That's fine now. Took an inner tube out of his front wheel and put it in that one. That's done. I've put some lights on. This is a light that Metallic Reality gave me. Also, it does like a laser thing, so you have a track next to you. Uh, I made my own light for the front. That's a scope mount with a bit of a flashlight that used to make it into like some ring thing, which I'm sure would have been classed as a knuckle duster. And then a torch strapped on it. Adjusted all the brakes and all that. Yeah, it's ready to go now. I haven't had a proper ride yet. Every evening when I've been planning to, I always keep doing other things. Yeah, the bike is ready. And when I get a bit of spare money, I might buy the the basket sort of thing in the, the pannier bag or whatever the hell it's called, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've got a bike I can ride now. Right, I'll take you in the shed now. Talk about some of the stuff I've got. Right, I'm in the shed now, just thought I'd show you some of the stuff that should be coming up. Um, crossbow accessories, people have been asking for those. So I have now got the stuff to make slings, broadhead bolts and bodkin tips. Those bolts will have these heads in them. And I have also got the stuff to make some bayonets. I'm not 100% sure how many, but I have got enough to make a good five or six probably. So there should be some bayonets coming soon if you're, uh, if you're after those. I'm just going to look in my cupboard see if there's anything else to talk about. So I have got one other thing. Um... Me and Peach was going to do a project, but I don't think it's going to happen now. Well, not with the thing I've got, and maybe not the thing he got. So we was going to buy some, oh, we bought some sickles or scythes or whatever, sickles I think. Thinking they'd be nice, decent things to work with. Um, this is what I got. <laughs> Peach bought this for me as well, and I appreciate it, Peach. Blimey, we didn't expect this though, did we? Alright, so the size of it... For what we want, it's completely useless. Um, it's got a serrated fucking blade on it. It's going to be soaring with a fucking scythe. Totally bizarre. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, I think even if I just gently pulled that to the side, I could um, snap that. There's no sort of... That's not, that would just bend as well, I could tell. Look. There's no going back straight. <laughs> So that's useless. Fucking, it's a shame. I might be. Able to, I'll keep the handle. I might be able to use the blade for something. But yeah, for the project me and Peach wanted, it is not going to happen. Sadly, we'll look for something else. But it's worth a try, won't it, Peach? But yeah, look at that. I'm tempted to just break it on camera, but I won't because it's. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely horrendous thing. It's cost a fiver. So if you see these on eBay, do not buy them because it's not really even worth. Anything for scrap. 
Right, so yeah, I think that's it. There should be some shed projects coming up soon. Um, <clears throat> crossbow videos. I'll do the bolt tests that I mentioned. Um, arrow tests. And plenty coming up. It's just a matter of getting the time to do it. Alright, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, hope you found that helpful. It's always good to do an update, isn't it? Right, and I will, uh, I'll see you later. There'll be a potato video coming up soon, right? See you later.